people involved in the drilling of an oil and gas well. There's a rig crew, operator personnel, contractors, and off-site support staff. Let's look at some of the functions and see what they do. The rig works around the clock under the supervision of two rotating rig managers. The rig managers, also called tool pushers, have many functions. They interface with the operator representative, monitor drilling progress, supervise the crew and oversee repairs, prepare reports, and procure the parts, supplies, and services needed for operation of the rig. The toughest part of my job, number one, is make sure I have full crews, and, and uh, especially when you have a lot of new hands, uh, you have to watch out for them, keep them trained, and make sure they don't go off and do the wrong thing, and, and keeping them safe and getting hurt. Uh, also, uh, uh, it's a hectic pace up here, and, and you've got to be able to make sure that each job doesn't take longer than, than it's supposed to, uh, keeping everything on a set schedule. Uh, because they do give a lot of money for this rig and they expect a lot out of it. This rig operates with two five-man crews working 12-hour shifts called towers. Each rig manager and their crews work seven days on and seven days off, rotating with the other team. The lead man on the crew is the driller. He operates the rigs, uh, tends to any breakdowns, makes sure that the hands do their job, the, the men that are under him. and. Uh, you know, he just sort of directs traffic and, and uh, any jobs or cleaning, uh, maintenance needs to be done, he makes sure that it's done properly. Then we have the dairy can, he takes care of the mud system. Uh, the mud, uh, that's one of our most important things on the rig. And uh, when he needs to, he goes up and works derricks, pulls the pipe back for trips or whatever we may need. We have the motorman, he takes care of most of the mechanical issues on the ground. Uh, your engines, of course, checking oil and grease and, and uh, keeping everything greased on the ground, plus regular maintenance on uh, other things. Then we have the two floor hands who uh, basically stay on the floor uh, and they're just more or less helpers. They, they make connections or help the derrick in with the mud, just whatever needs to be done. And, and if we do get a chance, we wash and clean and, and keep the rig up. At any given time, you'll see more people around a rig site than just the employees of the drilling contractor. The operator has a representative on site called the company man, and he directs the well program using a variety of vendors and contractors. The company man uh, on these jobs, basically, that well is his. Uh, his job is, is to keep the well running smooth and make sure that uh, we do what he wants by their company standards. Uh, there are certain ways that uh, different companies want to drill the well, and, and uh, his job is to make sure that it, it's done. Among supplies and services used during drilling, the operator is responsible for bringing mud supplies to the drill site and hires a mud engineer to monitor the mud program. The operator is responsible for arranging all casing and cementing supplies and services, and for arranging rental of any special downhole equipment, such as mud motors and drilling tools. The operator also arranges any technical support services needed, such as directional drilling or logging services. In short, the operator has a major hands-on role in the drilling of a well. Operators, in their own way, are unique. Uh, you can take the same well, and, and four different operators may drill it four different ways. Uh, everybody's got their own special way. It just depends on the engineers they have and, and how they want to drill the well.